Hi guys and welcome back. Let's set up your staff members and your teams. Uh, so adding a new staff member is pretty straightforward. You just put in their email and if you set them as an owner, they'll have permission to do absolutely everything. Otherwise, they will only have permission to do things that you as the owner, if that's who you are, uh, allow them to do, which we'll get into here in a moment. So you send invite, They'll get an email. If they accept, then they will now join you as a staff member. Um, from there, you can then set up a team. And a team can be anything you'd like. This is just our fake account, so forgive me that this uh, information here is kind of incomplete. But let's go ahead and make a new team, and let's call it Inventory. And let's add a chat tag handle, Inventory. The location, most of you guys only have one. If you have multiple locations, then that's where that comes into play. Um, I am this Michael in this case. And uh, let's go ahead and also add Ava Jenkins, who may or may not be, but is in fact my dog. And there we go. So we are in the inventory team. Anywhere within the software, anywhere you go, if you open up a chat room, like a specific part or whatever, and you say, at inventory, we need, uh, I don't know, the <laughs> material for this part, right? That's an inventory related topic to say to the inventory team. Cool. I hit enter and look at this. I've got a new, inv uh, not invitation, new notification. There we go. Michael tagged you in an unknown chat. Okay, uh, we need material for this part. An unknown chat. Well, let's see what chat that is. Oh, it's this chat. Okay, it's the chat for the connector C. Okay, great, cool. Um, and there we go. Now, earlier I was talking about how if you're set as the owner, you have permission to do everything. Otherwise, you set those individual permissions within the settings. So I'm in settings, I'm in general, I'm gonna to go to inventory. That's right, I didn't just create a, a team called inventory for no reason. I created that team because there is actually an inventory feature in the software. So teams to notify of needed restock. It's gonna be the inventory team. Teams to notify of overstock. That'll be the inventory team. Uh, teams with permission to edit inventory. Teams with permission to edit categories within the inventory. Okay, well, that doesn't have to be just us. That could be maybe some administrative people, or in this case, anyone who wants can, you know, add inventory items and so forth. But when it comes to actually needing to buy stuff, I only want myself and my dog to be pinged on that. I don't need to ping everyone in the world on everything. So uh, let's now go into the inventory feature itself. And uh, here we have some high temp resin. We have uh, a min and a max set, five and 10. So if we drop below five, someone, spoiler alert, may or may not be me, uh, is gonna get notified. Um, let's do it. So there's six in stock. Now there's only three. We have seven too few in order to get up to 10. That is a problem. We need to notify the inventory team. Look at that, it just happened. Oh my gosh seven more are needed that's great so thank you so much for watching you guys that is how you set up your staff members and your teams and i'll see you next time